Hi everyone and welcome to this book review. So I thought to do a video, well try out a video. Uh, a lot of you have been asking for some reviews on some of the books that I've read or to recommend some books. So what I decided to do is I'll just recommend some books as I go along or maybe just offer some reviews on some books that I find uh, quite interesting. So I just finished uh, this book that I got about a week ago called black tax so this is one of those books that i had to think a while before getting i had to think whether i wanted to get it actually i went to the bookshop about twice just reading the contents page which is how i i recently started um deciding on which books i'll read because sometimes a title um doesn't really tell you much or it tells you something but you want to kind of qualify it and understand if it's similar to something you've read before so it's just a tip that i use to find books um to read nowadays so this is obviously a very emotive uh subject i almost said issue uh black tags all right so it's 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 a term that's been used quite a lot in the media um and on social media usually or by the woke press uh specifically i myself really don't subscribe to the idea of black tax and that's probably why i took so long to buy this book but i thought you know what let me challenge myself and let me challenge my views um and see what people think about it um and the reason why i don't subscribe to black tax is simply because yeah simply because i feel calling it a tax is 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 a mistake and it's and it's and it's I, I won't want to use emotive language but i simply don't agree in calling it a tax and and simply because you know the way i was raised i was i was telling my mom about a year ago we were just catching up and i was like to her you know the best thing i think she did for me is really exposing me into what it took for me to get some of the opportunities that I got, you know what I mean? Like uh, I've made several posts about it uh, or some of the elements of my journey, things like getting kicked out of school, right? You know, um, it's obviously not a pleasant thing to go through, um, kicked out of school because of non-payments of funds and things like that. Uh, but what I liked about my, 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 my family or my mom I don't know if it was a wisdom or foresight or it just happened by accident, but even from as young as nine years old, you know, these were things that were not um, shielded from me. You know, I was made aware of uh, what it took to run a, uh, the household financially. I, I, I was always exposed to the consequences as well of uh not having money or not managing money properly so i saw it firsthand my mom would literally let's take that example getting kicked out of school right boom it called to the office uh they give you this letter go give it to your parents you know you get home and uh you know and then you get told oh no it's because you know we didn't pay oh then i'm where am i gonna get this money you know what i mean but right then after you would be sent let's say to uh gamasemula you know three streets uh, three streets away hambio kulmano mama kona mkazelu uti umamu bole 500 let's say for example you know what i mean so you go there you borrow 500 rand they like keep it put it in your school bag tomorrow you're gonna go pay so that just put such a deep consciousness in me because shit i i saw that whole thing about it takes a village you know to raise a kid i saw that you know go go ask for money go take it go pay this go take it go do that go you know and i've also seen firsthand once again when those things don't happen when people don't help and chip in what happens you know we've been evicted out of houses and stuff like that so you seeing all of that there's there's simply no way i can you know not choose to recognize it at this point you know what i mean because i saw it i'm like oh it really took everyone to to pay for my fees to do all of these things and so on so as i got older it's just like that consciousness remains man it's like even though it's hard sure um but I just cannot bring myself to distance and I won't, I refuse actually, not, 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 I, I can't, I refuse to. Um, so 
what did I find from this book? Right, coming back to this book and enough about me. So I thought I would see a lot of arguments contrary to what I believe, but I was actually surprised that almost none of these stories in here. So how it's packaged is that it's really a collection of short stories. So the author, Nick Mkrongo, didn't really write the whole book. They just wrote a chapter. So the chapters are about seven, eight pages each. It's just stories from various um, black young brothers and sisters detailing their journey. Are they yay or nay for the term black tax and the whole construct of black tax and why? So very interesting stories, you know, from, you know, abuse, people grew, uh, grew up in abusive uh, households, people who, you know, had to put their families or, or brother, young brothers and sisters through school, people who had to, uh, you know, build houses for their family, some because of the goodness of their heart or because they wanted to, some because of a guilt that they felt. Um, so it's all kinds of different chronicles. Um, what what are my main takeaways are that I find the 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 feeling or sentiment towards black tax based on this and based on of, of many of maybe what I also thought coming into reading this book is that it's really largely dependent on your exposure growing up. So what was your experience? Did your did you did you get exposed to um, financial uh, troubles? Did you get uh, educated about uh, the various stakeholders and people from your family who've helped your, your, yourself and your siblings uh, get to where you are? Or were you shielded from it? Because what I seem to find as a constant thread is the more, it's almost like a, a graph, right? Directly proportional graph where the more exposure, the more transparent your environment was uh, from a financial point of view, it seems that your 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 positive connection to giving back to the family and growing the family through uh contributing whether it's monthly or whenever it's needed from your salary or whatever it is that you do it finds that that takes on a more positive feeling positive by saying that um these are individuals who don't see it as a burden but rather as just an act of ubuntu and family building now this might ruffle a few feathers what i just said but um not to say that you can't feel it as a burden but still want to help right so i think there's a thin line there and i guess my litmus test uh, would probably be that do you, you know, do you complain about it in a, in a, do you, basically who is, who are you mad at when you complain, right? Because it's tough, right? So do you complain and say, you know what, oh, I have to do this, do this, do this and that for my family and they are the bad guys because they expect me to do this and want me to do this and blah, 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 blah. Therefore, they are enslaving me or whatever. Or are you simply mad at the situation? you know, the situation that brought us here, and I mean from a historical point of view as well, you know, why did they, we have to go through apartheid and why did we have to go through all these things which now lead me to be in the situation where I have to uh, kind of uh, help the family out and, and why are we not well off? Why didn't we have all these opportunities? So that's kind of my litmus test, you know what I mean? Because I think it's only natural uh, for you to feel that way. To, like, pff, maybe if I grew up in a different background with a different skin color, things would have been different. I don't know, you know, from a family, historic family point of view. Um, so yeah, it's a very thought-provoking book and I think there will be all kinds of thoughts and feelings about it. Uh, but yeah, in summary, I think for me, Black tax, man. Black tax is, well, I refuse to call it black tax, but just uh, helping the family. For me, what I've found is I've used it as a fuel, right? I think I'm I'm who I am because of it, not in spite of it, because it's, it's really where all of my motivation 
comes from and sits it sits in creating that generational wealth and 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 you know bettering my my not just my situation or my immediate family but bettering it for everyone and sometimes it's not through um, a transactional level like it's not just me giving you a thousand rand i'm actually very um careful and stingy when it comes to that <laughs> my mom calls me stingy but i'm i'm not stingy because you know i just choose to hold it hold money or whatever but it's that thing of i'm all about empowering people and teaching someone how to fish instead of giving you a fish you know because i don't want to be mad at you and police you for what i gave you so rather let me help you i'm all for okay let me give you two grand to go enroll for that course that's going to turn into you getting a job for that's paying you 10 grand whether it's next year or the year after let me give you time let me mentor you let me show you how to play the game let me show you what to read but you need to also be with me in this you know what i mean you also need to pull your 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 weight and that's really what i'm all about i'm all about accountability because at the end of the day there's no use i give you fish and those fish run out and now we're back at square one you know i'd rather put down a whole lot of capital teaching you how to fish so you can go and turn it into something bigger and help 10 other people. You know what I mean? Me helping people uh, from a financial point of view is will always be finite. You know, you can get a million rand today. It's not going to help anything if you don't develop a system that turns it into two and turns it into four and turns it into six. Case in point is lottery winners. Most things, most, uh, the most the easiest mistakes that people do when they get a big payout, whether it's a lot or, or whatever, they quit their job immediately. You don't even have the education on how to turn this into that. They quit their job and then they inflate their lifestyle. So their lifestyle eats into that capital, right? And they still don't have the knowledge of how to generate more income, you know? So that's really from the standpoint that I come from, like short term, always take care of business take care of what needs to be done help people out financially you know you know no one wants to see their loved ones uh suffering but i always try to keep one eye on the long term no you need to you need to learn how to take it further you know so i i always uh kind of well i've started really becoming semi-villain with my cousins because i just don't have time for giving people money to go drink i'd rather give it to my aunt right or aunts because i know they'll take care of the the other the family situation so same dollar right but i'm not gonna chop it up and give you 50 cent to go drink or same rand give you 50 cent to go drink and only give i'd rather give a rand to my aunt or whatever because i know that rand is gonna really be spent to its full capacity so it's some of the thinkings that make it palatable and make it worthwhile for me to keep hustling and keep looking back but the goal is always to get as many of us across the finish line as possible to always turn uh you know create a bigger pie for all of us to always just make sure that the person coming after me has it easier person have coming after me has more knowledge has more potential than i ever had so that's my take roughly on black tax hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if you if you'd like to see more of these um, book reviews it takes way less time for me to to record one of these and to write out a whole review and i could smash out pretty much uh, reviews as soon as i record as soon as i finish reading a book so I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.